Good afternoon, Coach. Good to see you. Thank you. Um, please introduce yourself and the players you have here today with you. Uh, Coach Miguel, head coach at Trinity Christian Academy. To my left is uh, senior catcher Eric Soto, committed to Central Florida. To my right is senior outfielder Sandy Osario, committed to Indian River. And to his right is senior pitcher Dimitri. Awesome. So, Coach, you've been there 20 years. Please share about your time coaching here and why this is home for you. It's in your heart, Trinity Christian. Yeah, this will be my actually my 20th year here at Trinity Christian Academy. And as you know, we're an international school, so we get diversity of, of players from Curacao, the Bahamas, Dominican Republic, all you know, all, all sorts of places. So it's special for me because when these kids come from these backgrounds, I've been there, so I'm, I'm from the Dominican Republic. So I know exactly what they need, how to attend them when they come here, uh, when they leave you know, family and come here to play in the United States. So tell us about your uh, roster this year. How with your different positions? How deep are you? And what, what is yes, uh, this is almost kind of I could say maybe saying it for the first time in twenty years that this is like a rebuilding year, believe it or not, in twenty years. But I do have a big core of senior players. But as you see my roster, I have uh, eighth graders, ninth graders, which are very good ball players. Uh, some of those guys have, will actually start this year. Being a, being a small school. Uh, it's tough every year to have a JV and a varsity team. We normally have a JV team for two years, then that that team becomes a varsity team, and then as the years go, then we come back and have another JV team. So the roster's pretty, we have 16 players, uh, eight eight seniors, and, and eight underclassmen. Oh, wow. So from the player perspective, talk about how diverse your team is and how you motivate yourself and your other teammates. All right, so I just got to God all the time. I pray every morning when I step on the field. I feel, I feel happy when I step there. So I just try to make that happen. It goes through my teammates, so we can all become together, bond the chemistry together, and play the game we love, which is baseball. Um, yeah. So, uh, just to go off of what he said, um, very spiritual. Um, like my number one priority in my life is God, of course, um, and. We kind of just like all do things outside of baseball too to kind of just build the team chemistry, whether it's um, hanging out at the beach or practicing together outside of practices or just like staying in contact, group chats, anything. Um, and we all just, we all have the same goal in mind, just win as many games as possible, be as successful as we can be. And we all just push each other to our limits. Awesome. So coach, you have back-to-back -back district championships. How large of a goal is it to three-peat and win the district again this year or every year? Um, um, it, it is a goal. I mean, uh, we, we've, we've, we've done, I think, uh, hopefully a third on district championship. We, we, we've had in the past. I think we've had three in the past or probably more in the past ever since I've been here. I think that was actually the first one that we've lost in 20 years, actually. So now we're hoping to get a three-peat on the district, which is very important for us, but it's more important for the program, for the school. And, and these kids now that are seniors, that this will be their last year as well. Yeah. And Coach, you came out here to media days. Tell me why it's important to bring your team out here every year. Well, we do this every year. It, it, it's, it's a time of just, again, a little bond, you know. Uh, they know the date that this is going to happen, and I make sure that everybody comes, you know, and they feel happy you know you, you know you want to know where you, when you're at you know your, your you know your speed your bat speed uh your 60 yard dash you know some people say they do this they do that but when they come here this is where they show exactly where they have you know so it's fun and again you know we ride the bus together here and then we go back you know stuff like that so that's more important for us Excellent. and for you what was your favorite activity here today uh i didn't actually do a lot because i'm a pitcher uh -huh. but just being around the guys was fun but you got to see who has uh, yeah. these dudes are pretty good, so you got that, right? <laughs> what for you? What about for you? What, which, what did you like? Exit Velo. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I got the highest Exit Velo. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. And for you? Yeah, Exit Velo. Just it's pretty impressive to see where, like, how strong a lot of us are. So, yeah. Excellent. So, Coach, tell us what we can expect from the Warriors this season. Well, I mean, my expectation is always, ever since I got here, is always to go to states. And that's an expectation that, you know, I write down 
before the season starts, and this starts in the fall, and the kids know that, you know, and uh, we go as we go. Our, our schedule, if you see it, it's, it's one of the toughest ones around. I mean, last year we had a tough schedule, and even though we don't have a tougher, a bigger size team, I still made the same schedule as I did last year. And people ask, you know, why not just make an easy schedule? Well, you know, some of the seniors don't want an easy schedule. They want the same schedule as last year. So the guys that are coming up, you know, those eighth grade and ninth graders, you know, I said, oh, well, you're just going to have to, you know, see what's there for next year and see how, how uh, a different school playing against us, more pitching, better pitching, you know, they might struggle one year, but then the rest of the years they're there, they're going to become a little better. So that's what I bring. Awesome. Well, we wish you the best of luck this season. Thank you for being out here today, and uh, we'll see you on the field. Thank you. Thank you.